Imagine logging onto a marketplace where anything you can think of from stolen identities to zero-day exploits is just a few clicks away, but something feels different. The websites don't look the same anymore, the layout is cleaner, the language sounds more professional, the sellers more cautious. Welcome to the dark web in 2025. Gone are the chaotic markets filled with flashing Bitcoin signs and crude user forums. The underground economy has evolved quietly, strategically, and with the help of something new. Artificial intelligence? This is the year where the dark web finally modernized itself. Today, we're re-diving deep into what is really happening inside these hidden markets. What's been banned? What's resurfaced under new names and how entire networks are being reshaped by technology and fear? But before we go further, remember, this isn't about glamorizing crime. It's about understanding how a hidden part of the internet keeps changing the rules of cybersecurity, privacy, and digital ethics. The shift from chaos to control. Well, a few years ago, dark web marketplaces were like lawless bazaars, thousands of vendors, each selling something shady. Drugs, credit cards, fake passports, malware, you name it. But in 2025, the game has changed. After several global crackdowns like the takedowns of major darknet markets in 2023 and 2024, the underground economy adapted. New marketplaces don't advertise themselves publicly anymore. They operate in smaller, invite-only circles, sometimes even using decentralized hosting and encrypted peer-to-peer -peer connections. And the biggest surprise? AI is now doing a lot of the management work. Bots verify sellers. Algorithms detect scams. Some networks even use machine learning to flag undercover law enforcement activity. It's like watching a criminal ecosystem evolve not through humans but through automation. The fall and rise of markets. When old marketplaces were taken down by international agencies, it didn't stop the trade, it just forced it to get smarter. Now, instead of one massive hub, you have dozens of micro-markets, each focusing on a specific niche. One sells data leaks. One specializes in ransomware kits. Another offers deepfake technology and synthetic IDs. These markets don't need to be big. They just need to be invisible. And that invisibility is powered by privacy coins, encrypted comms, and yes, AI written code that hides traces better than ever before. The new rules of 2025. Here's what's new. AI-driven anonymity tools making user tracking nearly impossible. Decentralized hosting. Markets hosted across multiple hidden servers. Strict vendor policies. No more open signups. Invite-only systems. Crypto diversification. Bitcoin is no longer the king. Privacy coins dominate. Smarter security. Automated threat monitoring built by the very criminals using them. It's a strange evolution. The dark web is becoming more disciplined than ever. But as order increases, so does danger. Because when criminals become organized, they become unstoppable for a while. The dark web was never truly free. Even in the shadows, there have always been rules, silent codes enforced by those who control the marketplaces. But in 2025, these rules are changing faster than ever. You'd think the dark web would allow anything, but that's not true anymore. Today, even criminals have boundaries, not for morality, but for survival. What's being banned now? Across many new darknet markets, admins have started banning content and services that bring too much heat from authorities. Here's what's vanishing. 1. Human trafficking and violent material. These were once found in the darkest corners, but most marketplaces no longer allow them. Not because of ethics, but because they attract immediate global law enforcement attention. 2. Weapon Sales After massive international operations in 2024 that traced firearm transactions through crypto wallets, most gun vendors went silent. Some migrated to private encrypted networks, others disappeared completely. 3. Child Exploitation Content Strictly banned, even the most infamous marketplaces avoid it now. Hosting or linking to such material is the fastest way to get your market taken down. 4. Large-scale drug trade Yes, drugs still exist, but not in bulk. Smaller, invite-only circles handle those deals now. Big public listings are gone. 5. Ransomware as a service, RAS 
Some cybercriminal groups once rented out ready-to-use ransomware kits. In 2025, those ads have nearly vanished, replaced by consulting services that teach clients to build their own tools, avoiding detection. So what's still thriving? While some categories vanish, others are exploding. Data leaks and stolen credentials remain the most traded goods. Every new hack feeds the market, corporate databases, email logins, medical records, even government data. A, I generated fake identities are booming. Entire synthetic profiles, names, faces, addresses, histories, all built by AI, ready to pass most verification systems. Deep fake technology is another hot product. Criminals use it for blackmail, misinformation, and financial fraud. Zero-day exploits, rare vulnerabilities unknown to companies now sell for record prices, sometimes exceeding $500,000 per exploit. The dark web is no longer just about buying and selling illegal things. It's a service economy, powered by intelligence, automation, and fear. Law enforcement's counterattack, but make no mistake, the police haven't gone offline. 2025 marks a new era for digital law enforcement, too. Agencies around the world are deploying their own aid-driven tools to hunt criminals across the dark web. These programs crawl onion sites, analyze encrypted traffic, and detect patterns that human agents could never see. They use predictive algorithms to forecast when and where a new market might appear, sometimes even infiltrating it before it becomes public. Some of the latest systems developed through collaborations between cybersecurity firms and government agencies, can even simulate buyer behavior to expose sellers without ever revealing a human identity. A is now fighting AI. The same technology criminals use to hide their tracks is being used to find them. It's like a silent cyber war. No bullets, no bombs, just algorithms battling in the shadows. The cat and mouse game, no matter how advanced these systems get, the dark web always adapts. When a marketplace is shut down, another one rises, stronger, smarter, more encrypted. It's an endless cycle. Every arrest makes others more careful. Every takedown teaches criminals what not to do next time. And with AI now in the mix, this cycle is accelerating. Law enforcement wins battles, but the war keeps mutating. The new code of the underground, there's an unwritten rule spreading across dark web forums in 2025. Stay quiet. Stay encrypted, stay invisible. Vendors rarely communicate directly anymore. They use temporary chat systems, disposable crypto wallets, and auto-expiring messages. Even payment verification has changed. AI bots now confirm transactions, removing human error and risk. It's a strange paradox. The more AI takes over, the less human the dark web becomes. Yet the more dangerous it gets. Because when machines start learning how to stay hidden, Tracing them becomes nearly impossible. What's coming next? All signs point to one thing. The dark web is preparing for something big. Experts believe we re entering a decentralized era where no single marketplace can be taken down because it doesn't t exist in one place. Imagine a network that lives everywhere and nowhere at once, powered by distributed AI nodes that manage trade automatically. If that becomes reality, the dark web will no longer be a place. It'll be an ecosystem, impossible to destroy. The dark web has never stood still. It evolves quietly, adapting to every law, every takedown, and every new line of code written to stop it. But in 2025, something deeper is happening. The dark web isn't just changing, it's transforming. The rise of decentralized marketplaces right now, one of the biggest shifts underway is decentralization. Instead of running on a single server or controlled by one admin, the next generation of marketplaces is powered by blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer networks. Imagine a marketplace without a leader, no headquarters, no website to take down, no single point of failure. Every transaction, every product listing, Every conversation, scattered across thousands of encrypted nodes around the world. If one goes down, the rest survive? That's the dream of the new dark web. And, in 2025, that dream is getting closer to reality. Projects like DarkFee and Haven Protocol are already experimenting with these ideas, privacy-first systems that allow trade without central authority. In short, they're trying to build a dark web that can't be erased. AI is the new marketplace manager. 
AI is also taking on new roles. In the early days, human admins managed listings, approved sellers, and handled disputes. But now those roles are being replaced by AI moderators. These algorithms automatically remove scams, verify transactions, and handle customer complaints, all while hiding the identities of the people behind them. Even worse, some new AIs can negotiate prices, write product descriptions, and even recommend items just like Amazon does. Except this is the black market version. It's personalization in the shadows. The next-gen currency revolution cryptocurrency has always been the bloodline of the dark web. But Bitcoin's anonymity is slowly fading. Law enforcement now tracks Bitcoin wallets with advanced tracing software. That's why new, untraceable coins are taking over like Monero, Scash, and even AI-assisted privacy coins that constantly change their transaction patterns to avoid detection. Some researchers predict that in the next few years, AI-generated synthetic cryptocurrencies will appear, tokens that exist for short periods, process transactions, and then self-destruct. It sounds like science fiction, but it's already being tested in experimental labs. Digital Identities the next level of anonymity in 2025, fake IDs aren't made with Photoshop. They're grown by AI. Entire synthetic humans exist online now, with faces, names, social media, and even fake browsing history. These ghost identities can open accounts, rent servers, buy services, and then disappear. For law enforcement, it's like chasing shadows that were never real in the first place. And as AI keeps improving, these fake people will become indistinguishable from us. The question is, when that happens, how will we even define identity anymore? A, I versus A, I, the silent war, there's a digital war happening right now, and it's invisible. AI is being used to protect, and AI is being used to destroy. On one side, cybersecurity systems powered by governments and corporations are scanning billions of data points per day, looking for suspicious behavior. On the other, Underground coders are training their own models to slip through those nets undetected. It's not humans hacking humans anymore. It's algorithms outsmarting algorithms. This is what experts call the cyber singularity, a point where machines start playing both sides of the law faster than humans can react. What this means for the future, if things continue at this pace, by 2030, the dark web may not look like a hidden part of the Internet at all. It might become a shadow network running parallel to the normal web, powered entirely by AI and decentralized systems. Every user could interact through digital proxies, every trade could happen in milliseconds, and every trace could vanish instantly. Law enforcement might never catch up, not because they're not capable, but because the system itself will evolve faster than they can. When the dark web starts thinking for itself, humanity loses control. A final thought. The dark web began as a symbol of freedom, a place where privacy meant safety, then it became a tool for crime. Now it's something in between a battlefield for power, information, and control. The question isn't whether we can shut it down. The real question is, can we survive what it becomes next? Because once AI and the dark web fully merge, we may not be able to tell where one ends and the other begins. This is Cognify. Stay aware, stay curious, and never forget, what you can't see still sees you.